Yes, please. They're looking at you, kid. The American Sports Awards, the ESPYs, March 4th from the Paramount Theater in New York. Here's your chance to cast a vote for this year's classic play. Today's category, College Football Play of the Year. Play one, Notre Dame's Reggie Brooks-Smith breaks tackles and takes a knockout hit while scoring against Michigan. Play two, Western Washington's Chris Moore uses practically every limb of his body to make a tumbling catch. Play three, with Florida and Alabama tied late in the SEC Championship, the Tide's Antonio Langham picks one off and takes it in for the game-winning touchdown. Operator. Operator. Oh, won't you help me place that call? But before we do, let's review the choices one more time. For Notre Dame's Reggie Brooks and his tackle-breaking touchdown run against Michigan, push one. For Western Washington's Chris Moore, using not only his arms, but his legs to catch a pass, push two. For Antonio Langham's game-winning interception in the SEC Championship, push three. Those are the nominees. Anderson set of plays during the administration of President Bill Clinton. Here's your goosebumps, doesn't it? And while you will not see Clint Moarchuk, Lou Clinton of the 64 Red Sox, or the Clinton Giants of the Midwest, Midwest Baseball League, you will see the uh, plays of the week. My fellow citizens, today we celebrate the... It's time for our question and answer segment with President Clinton. Mr. President, what must we do to improve the plays? We have to work together and move forward together. Bush with the steal for the Bonnies. Vanderpool with Brunson. Moore! You have raised your voices in an unmistakable chorus. But we was with so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red flag. Uh oh. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 President Clinton, what do you think of these plays? There are people who want to do better. Right. Final rush up. Yager takes the lead pass. Zigzag around a man coming to the end. In on goal. Is back in front of front. Steven shoots and scores. Now Weber gets it back two on one behind the back and slams. <laughs> Mr. President, in those desperate and last-second situations, what do we do? We must answer the call. Do not finish it off. And Rivers fires. And it hits. Mr. President, what do our athletes have to do to make better plays? Maneuver for position and worry endlessly about who is in and who is out, who is up. Three on one. And who is down. Finally, sir, do you have any messages for the Plays of the Week staff and viewers? Thank you, and God bless you all. And may you achieve all your goals, sir. As President Truman once said, the puck stops here. Plays of the Week is delivered by Federal Express. For documents, packages, and freight worldwide, our most important package is yours. For a quick pattern, now comes to the sideline, it's Sterling Sharp. 15 to the 10, he's going to go again, folks. That's down, Sterling Sharp. He gave that short move to the outside, right. and when the defender took that, he flew right past him, into the end zone, fourth time today that Sharp and Brett Favre have combined for that combination. Pitch. Now Byers wants to throw a pass into the end zone, wide open, touchdown, Irving! Half-back option! Driving that cap all the way back to the 25. Ahead to the 30. Outside to the 35. To the 40. To the 45. To the 50. In the Steelers territory. In the 40. To the 30. To the 20. To the 10. 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 To the 10.
Your chance to cast a vote for this year's classic play. Today's category, Pro Football Play of the Year. Play one, Barry Sanders tramples the bear. He's free! He's on his way! 25, 20, 15, 10, and he scores! Unbelievable! Play two, Steve Bono with the Niners, complete to Brent Jones against the cards. He fumbles and the fun starts. He was already down, I believe, but then it's picked up by Gerard. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown 49ers! Play three, a humbling moment for one Cowboy at the Super Bowl. And Leon Lett picks it up to the 40. Take a look at here he goes. Here comes Leon Lett to the 20. Go Lett! And Leon Lett turned the moment of his life into the biggest embarrassment you can imagine. <laughs> Operator. Operator. Oh, won't you help me place that call? But before we do, let's review the choices one more time. For Barry Sanders' touchdown in the season opener against the Bears, push one on your touchdown phone. For the 49ers, Mike Sherrard stealing the ball and taking it for a score, push two. And for a hustling Don Beebe, robbing Leon Let It Be of a short touchdown at the Super Bowl, push three. Those are the nominees. A portion of the proceeds from this call will be donated to the Arthur Ashe Foundation for the Defeat of AIDS. Here's your chance to determine the most... So among those you won't see in our awards tonight... Twin. I like her. You won't be seeing Cecil Espy or Alvaro Espinoza. The envelope, please, for the plays of the week. <laughs> the track! The pageantry. The grandeur. The ESPYs. If you have an award show, they will come. From near. Or he sails in. And far. Manute with the fling three. Got it. And farther. All to see the best. The Jimmy Jackson from behind midcourt. Got it. The bad. And the baddest of sports. Whoa. Not today, Shaq. If greatness had a name. It would be Espy. Think of the thermos jug William Bendix used to take to work on the life of Rally. Here are some of our winners. Best Annihilation of a Backboard. Chris Morris. Accepting the award for Mr. Morris, Montana's Nate Koval. I had Coach Dicka. Best Impression of a Skeet Shooter, Tamu Solani. I had Dicka. Yeah. Best Impression of the Mona Lisa. Not Gabriella Sabatini. Mrs. Dicker. Like all events of this magnitude, security was tight. <laughs> and they weren't shy about getting physical. Face down by former King Ken. Nobody could get backstage without a pass. Oh, oh, oh what a pass! Oh, that's the pass of the year. Backstage was a giant schmooze fest. Everybody dropping names. Lynn Berman on the left. Charlie Steiner on the right. Did I say Lynn Berman? I meant to say Chris Berman. Christine Leitner. Uh, Christine. Christine Leitner, wait a minute. Those not dropping names were busy kissing up. Here's your first chance to call and vote for next year's ESPYs. The category, Ugliest Moment, Rutgers Chuck Weiler. That was ugly, Chuck. Operator. Best shot by a mascot. Was it Anthony Carter of Clinch Valley College? Operator. Or the aforementioned Carter when he did it again? Operator. Operator? Oh, won't you help me sing on key? I'd also like to thank my teammates and the Lord above for helping me out. That's really all I have to say. I'm gonna go have sex now. Better not. There's a lot of competition out there. Plays of the Week is delivered by Federal Express. For documents, packages, and freight worldwide, our most important package is yours. Today's best golf guide, Greg Norman out of the sand, and inches apart. Fractions of inches short. Pleased, nevertheless. Here's your shack, today's best. It's not a today's best without Shaquille O'Neal. New Orleans, Rainy Mason from way downtown. Today's best. Rod Strickland behind the back, the best to Buck Williams for the lovely best. And George Lynch with the dunk, funk, and I think you're a punk involving Thomas Hill. And Rhode Island's Carlos Easterling with the reverse and the little slam dance. No extra charge on today's best. Coming up, the... AFC had claimed three of the last four Pro Bowls. 
Six members of the Super Bowl champion Cowboys, six members of the Super Bowl runner-up Bills headlining the show. And that's Mike Singletary. The eyes. The last time we will see them, his final game. Aikman and Michael say, look, we're down 7-3. Let's hook up. What are you saying? There's once. Troy goes to Mike again. And then I think the Bills saw enough of this in the Super Bowl. Aikman, Irvin, and the touchdown. It was 13-7 NFC. AFC got a break in the fourth. Steve Tasker, who would be named MVP. The block on Morton Anderson. Steve does everything he can to keep it in play. Terry McDaniel picks it up, and the Raider takes it the distance, and it's 20-13 AFC. Tasker is pumped. Late in the fourth, Steve Young scrambling. He threw three interceptions, but he also threw this big touchdown pass, and we went into overtime. In overtime, Nick Lowry, 34 yards out. Nick, is it good? Yeah. 23-20, the final. Tasker, the MVP, one block kick, caused a fumble, four tackles. In fact, this is the third time a Buffalo Bills been named MVP in the last six years. Steve Young I'm here. true. The names have not been changed. These are not actors. We report unexplainable forces have taken over. Be careful and watch your step. It's the unsolved edition of the Place of the Week, where even the simple has become difficult. The unexplainable. Where reality plays tricks on the mind. H does falling. Cooper's going to try and lob it off the backboard. Oh, oh what a, play. What a what shot! A play. What a play! Rick's got it out right on top of the flag. Right on top of the flag. He's going to hit the stick. He went in! He went in! Take a bow, big fella! How ironic is it? The same week Cotton Fitzsimmons hits a hole in one. Is there any explanation? How sweet it is. Have you seen this man? No one can solve how to stop him. Gotta get a shot. And half court, he'll fire. Yes! Yes! A three! We also have reports of unidentified flying objects. Watch this. Games of blocking shots and they quit a be careful. The people on this show are armed and potentially dangerous. Some of these people may be working together. Break the line pass under the worthy. He steals the ball, keeps the dribble. to Thompson, behind his back! Swift the steal. Here's the long pass. All the way, alley I'm over the rim. Oh, man, what a pass to Harper! Oh, that's something else. Oh, nice behind the back! Again! I love it! Watch your front, and your back, and maybe someday, you can help us solve the mystery. Plays of the Week is delivered by Federal Express. For documents, packages, and freight worldwide. All four in for a workout. Little did he know, Kevin Lowe, the shot. Deflected by Mike Gartner. one nothing Wales, 20 seconds late. Look at this. Puck goes right through Belfour. Look who's waiting for it. Gartner with his second goal. Peter Bondra scores just to shake things up. And then it's Alex Mogilny skating in. And hey, what the heck? I'll beat Belfour, too. 4 nothing Wales. Mark Recchi, the feed to Turgeon, one of his three. 5 nothing Wales. Gartner going for the hat trick. The New York Ranger does the job. 6 nothing Wales after one. Ed Belfour wishes he was anywhere but there. Mike Gartner keeps it going on the breakaway. That's goal number four. Mike Gartner had an assist, five points on the night. I'd say that is good enough to win MVP and a new car. Now if he could just do it in the playoffs, right? Now to the all-star records in this game. That was the final. 16 goals scored by the Wales, the most scored by any team. The 22 goals by both sides, the most ever. The combined 90 shots on goal, a new record. The NHL returns to reality Monday night. Jim? You gave us a try, now hit subscribe. Be sure to YouTube responsibly and hit that like button if you like what you see, because there's plenty of content to come.